what is going on everyone the runescape bonds video by mod mmg has just come out a few minutes ago um, i was there to watch the worlds go ahead and dwindle out again and a game update came into play that is probably one of the biggest things since the return of the wilderness and the eoc now runescape has been doing a lot of really big changes that really turn it into the kind of game that we're seeing in a lot of other MMOs. Um, for instance, I would say EVE is a really big one that comes to mind, and we're going to get into why I brought EVE into this uh, soon. Um, also, I don't, know, I don't know if Diablo 3 is also like this. Um, they might have done a patch where that's not allow allowed anymore. I'm not sure. But um, here's what bonds are, okay? Um, as you can see in the video, there's been a problem with bots. Even though the past few months the game's been mostly bot free and that gold farming is always going to be a problem. So they're going to do their best to eradicate this by bringing the bond program into it. Now, um, bonds may be purchased on the website's billing page. The cost is $5 per bond and can be redeemed in exchange for 14 day memberships. 8 spins or 160 rune coins. Now if you want to go ahead and do the math, that is about right. Um, buying bonds though should not be the way to go for membership as it will be $10 to get 28 days which is below how or which is above the current price of membership. Um, you'll be able to freely determine how to exchange your bonds, be it on the grand exchange or in player to player trades and how much in-game wealth you wish to buy and sell from them, just like any other item in the Grand Exchange. Now here's how it works. Um, players can purchase a bond on the pilling page with their credit card or PayPal account for real money. Um, the bonds can be gifted, traded, or consumed. Um, player A and player B agree, to, agree a tra to trade a bond, either as a gift or in return for an in-game resource or currency of any agreed value consumer or consume player B can then use the bond for themselves to receive membership spins or rune coins alternatively they can retrade it so a bond is basically membership spins or rune coins whatever you want to redeem it as which means that you are now able to use your in-game wealth to buy membership now this is a huge, huge thing for RuneScape. Like I said, Eve does this, um, where you can trade your resources for mem or longer membership periods. Um, Diablo used to do this. Like I said, I'm still not sure if they do. And um, it's just a really big step, and I personally feel that it is in the right direction for sure. Um, I think that being able to use your in-game wealth to directly influence your ability to play the game is really smart it's a really good thing to do um, I don't know how much people will be trading for bonds to get the membership but like I said it's just one thing that's going to help this game become better um, and hopefully grow the game I think that not having to pay for your membership if you're doing well enough in this game is an awesome benefit I think it gets rid of a lot of people holding on to a ton of the gold and um, we don't like I said we don't know how much these bonds are really going to be worth in the game until players start trading it amongst themselves um, am I gonna be buying any bonds right now well right now I'm in the gold premiere program um, for a few more months and that's actually until next year so I'm about uh, two-thirds of the way through my premier membership um, but I probably will actually go ahead and grab some bonds to show you in later videos what it kinda means to be in the game and how it's actually implemented so I know that this is a huge update I really want to know what you guys think so please comment in the section below and I would like to see you guys next time where we actually go ahead and we look at how these bonds will affect the game thanks for watching